It's Kristen with Simply a Steward, and I am back today. So I know I keep saying I'm going to come back, and I don't come back frequently. And right now, that's just because um, if you have followed my channel, you know that, um, or you likely know that I was diagnosed with autoimmune several years ago, um, and it played us into a lot of the way we handle our health, and we're very kind of holistically more naturally mindset and that has a basis around my channel we're um, homeschooling and naturally based and that has just all become very controversial over the past year and so I will be honest over the past year I haven't shared quite as much of my journey as I have in the past um, so I'm kind of praying about um, where God's leading me and I'm praying um, very hard to make sure that I'm following the right path with that but I was approached with something that I felt was not controversial at all, um, but was, what are my favorite three Evan Moore products? Ooh, that's almost hard to pick. Um, I really enjoy using Evan Moore, especially, and you'll see um, when I show you what I have here with my younger kids, apparently. Um, it's one of my favorite things to incorporate into my homeschool. And so when I was approached the... Um, the topic because I am an affiliate link I am an affiliate so I will link these products below for you um, they will be affiliate links um, when they asked me to share what those things were because I know they know that I like their products I was kind of stuck I'm like oh my gosh only three um, but after searching I found three that really hit home and I really enjoy using and they worked really well for my especially for my student that where nothing else worked well and nothing fit the bill so I'm really excited to share these things with you guys um, so the very first thing I'm going to share with you is beginning geography now we use um some of the evan moore geography in all of my lower grades uh in elementary school but this was one of my favorite books i really enjoyed this this is for you'll see up here it's for grades k through two so it is for those younger students but it doesn't have to be a particular grade most of theirs are set on grade um this one is not and I use this with my kindergartner or my first grade students in our homeschool. And you'll see here it goes over map skills, landforms and bodies of water and continents and oceans. So it's just going over literally the very basics and getting them um, their feet a little bit wet in learning about geography. Now, this only comes in a teacher's guide format. So in Evan Moore, they do have some books that come in like a student form and they're a much cheaper and b you don't make copies of them when you buy a teacher um form you're you're able to make copies of them for your classroom or your family um whatever you're buying them for as a homeschool mom i'm buying it i can make copies for um my kiddos within my home uh so that being said this book is set up specifically that you must make copies and i'll show you what i mean so here for an example is this page and you're to cut out this ruler and use it for the map skills on this page over here now when you cut this out obviously you are going to destroy whatever is on the back of this page and right here it is so if you do that um, you will end up destroying the pages so even if you want to purchase this book individually for each student because you don't want to make copies you're going to end up likely destroying something you may need in a different lesson where their um, skill, I think it's their skill sharpeners, they have like a blank on the back that you're not destroying the next page. You're just cutting um, that page. So yeah, for example, here's another one where you have to cut these pieces. You can see like the puzzle pieces, but on the next page, there is information. So that's something to note when you use this book. But overall, I absolutely adore this. I think it's much better than it does really get them into geography where I feel like a lot of the other curriculums kind of tiptoe around it. And it's a great way to introduce um, some of those basic social studies skills. So my kindergartners and first graders don't really do a social studies program in my homeschool. I feel like this is enough just introducing them to the continents and the oceans. Um, and like I said, those basic map skills. So this is definitely one of my highly recommended and definite favorites for our homeschool. The next is 
the Daily Phonics. Now, I did buy, um, or may have honestly, I can't remember if I purchased this or this was um, in one of the things that I was given because it was like two years ago. So I apologize for that. But this, I did receive, <laughs> whether I purchased or not, the teacher's uh, guide to this. So this one, they do have those smaller packets, like I said, that I believe they're $7.99 where you can buy just the student copy. However, if you do that, you will not have um, two things, the ability to copy for other students or this kind of guide page. And so this page is specifically for the teachers. It kind of just walks you through what the unit is for the week. Uh, but I did really love this. So my son who is now currently, he's, He's like a first slash second grader used this um, not last year. Well, yeah, yeah, last year. I'm sorry. Um, and he really struggled with phonics. He could not use any of the phonics programs I had tried at the time. It, they were just too overwhelming, um, too, too much information on a page. As you can see, these pages are very simplistic. And he, so he was able to work through these things without um, losing patience. And so we were able to actually move somewhere in his phonics. He spent a lot of time his kindergarten year not being able to kind of get over that hump and even starting to learn it. Now, I do feel like if you, Evan Moore is the absolute best about sharing um, what is in their books and on their pages. So I do recommend that you go check out the grade level if you're interested in this book and um, check out just those pages and the sample pages. They have sample pages from the beginning until the end, um, opposed to like maybe just one or two pages of some curriculum that don't give you a really good look. But I felt like while some of these concepts were first grade, it was very slow moving. So for weeks, you were working on more or less short, um, short vowel sounds and things. And for my my struggling student, that was perfect. My daughter, um, who's just above him, would have moved through this in first grade in probably like two months, and I would have had to move um, to phonics too with her. So depending on what level, I would recommend that you look, check out. Um, the level based on your student but I do think this is just an excellent very simplistic pages would be perfect as we're coming into summer here would be perfect just to go over in fact I might do that I might order this in the gray in the level up or two for my son just to work on over summer since it's just a very simple one page type of um, workbook but definitely again high on my list I love these books the teacher manual does have those um, teacher pages, and it also, as I forgot to mention, has the teacher's um, checklist in the back. So while I don't find that super needy, like you don't need it in these younger grades, if you're correcting five students worth of work, it's very easy just to, to do it um, off the teacher's guides versus actually reading each individual problem. So sometimes that is advantageous. And my last, um, but not least, favorite is the grammar and punctuation. So again, I have this in the teacher's guide. I am not 100% certain if they offer this in a just a student um, version, but this does have the ability to um, go ahead and copy it for those students that are in your family for your own homeschool, which is just a great way to be cost effective. If you are like me and have multiple students, sometimes you need a way to cut out those costs. And so anything that you can reuse for other students is great. And so Evan Moore allowing us to make copies for those within our home, I think is just such a benefit um, as a mom, as a side note beyond how the curriculum works for them, I think it's just a great, um, like I said, a great way to save those pennies when you're trying to buy all of your curriculum. But here I want to just give you a short look at that first page. And like I said, you can go check this all out on their website. They have the most fantastic um, examples. But again, this is set up just like the Daily Phonics. Very short overview pages. 
And so this was what an amazing way this was, again, for my same son to go ahead and get him into his language arts. He, the literature side of things where we can read and talk about the stories and all of those types of things were one thing. But the actual grammar and um, punctuation, all of those mechanics were something that he didn't want to do. And it's monotonous and it just wasn't something he was interested in. And so getting him to sit and have a conversation about why he needed to do those things, uh, he just had no interest. And so this was a very short, very easy to understand um, ways for him to get involved and do that assignment. They had things that are as simple as like cutting and pasting, which he loves to cut. And so offering that was great um here you got the color what was a full sentence and what wasn't um you would leave blank and so those are just some very simple ways things they could fix they could cross out and um fix the capital letters on they talked about like i said all of those basic nouns verbs they weren't getting into concepts that were above their skill level um but they were introducing them and therefore only, so when you see this uh, here, these were each about a week long. So there was five lessons. So for five days, Monday through Friday, if you school Monday through Friday, they would go over sentences. And then the next week, Monday through Friday, they would go over new concepts. So while this isn't really mastery or spiral, I don't feel like a week is long enough to master it. It was just enough to kind of get his feet wet and to understand those concepts so that as we work over the next years and we start to build on those, he would know what they were without being overwhelming and he could focus on the things like reading and math um, that were truly important, uh, I felt, for his personal goals. So, like I said, get some exposure, but it's not overdoing it. One of the best, one of the things I love the most about Evan Moore is just that they are short sweet and to the point and they get the exposure across without being um, so in depth that it turns the student into not enjoying their schoolwork. So these three are absolute favorites of mine. I would love to hear what your guys' favorites are if you guys want to drop a comment down below for me and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!